What is up guys, I'm Viper, welcome to the channel, and today we are starting a brand new adventure, which is Skyrim VR, massively modified, and with a Sophia, which is a new follower, which is apparently really funny, so we'll dive straight into Skyrim VR. As you can see, we are currently in the Lorkham realm, or whatever it is, the start of the game. There is no start on the actual game like there is in the original Skyrim, because apparently it's really, really bugger, so it didn't work. So we start off over in White Run. Here we are in the stables, just outside of White Run. We'll have a quick little look around here. Wow, it's looking very beautiful now compared to what it was originally. So obviously this is not the base game. It is the base game, but it's got loads of mods on it. Oh well, who are you? Who's this? Let me guess. You want to talk? What? Who are you? Where am I? Well, that's not about that sun, isn't it? Oh, it's you. It is. I mean, what? No, I've never seen you before. I have no idea who you are. I've never seen you before either, love, and I've played Skyrim five times. You or anything. Wait! Don't leave! I I'm injured! <laughs> uh, yes, sure you are. Injured. You have to take me with you. Otherwise, I might die, and you wouldn't want that on your conscience. That would be terrible, wouldn't it? <laughs> die. Yeah, well, that's because... Okay, fine. If you take me with you, I will make it worth your while. You won't find anyone tougher than me in Skyrim. I oh, don't know about that, love. Good looking. I am a Sir Dick. <laughs> Sir Richard is the character's name for all you wondering. Hence, Sir Dick. <laughs> well, we will see about that. I could have you wrapped around my little finger in minutes. Oh, that won't happen, Either love. That or I could have your head as a trophy. I ain't 18 anymore. Anyway, I'm 40. Thanks. You women don't have I'll that do power over me no help. more. But don't push your luck. <laughs> push your luck. <laughs> so this is that Sophia follower then. Well, I must admit, the uh, the Skyrim is looking a hell of a lot better and a hell of a lot nicer than what it originally was with the base game. Now, there is currently like... I've got 239 mods on at the minute. <laughs> yeah. I did download the Foose Fundamentals something in the scenery. So you all know what I'm on about. Are you Skyrim? Oh geez. So I've downloaded the Foose. We've not got Foose or Rar on because I was having a little bit of loading issues because I am only stuck on the 2.4 gigahertz on my motherboard. So I do apologise for the little black bar inside the screen every now and then. It's just the render rate because I am not on 2.5 gig that it recommends. It's the 2.4 gig, and I don't mean my internet speed by that. So this well, is all for you. Hoping you would kind of keep me company. Look, I know it's how beautiful good, it is, Oak. It's no fun on my own. You can tell me to leave if you want, but surely you can at least give me a chance. Yeah, you can carry on me crap for me, love. We'll choose what? that one. I have no idea. My memory is a little fuzzy. If you happen to have any, I would appreciate it. Oh, we'll give her some clothes. Staring at my body. We're not like staring at your body, look. I've seen a semi-naked woman before. More dialogue options here now. We'll have a quick lead of these. Now I will tell you what they are actually saying, what it says there. But the problem I had is right. Am I not allowed out on my own now? I had a little too much to drink. So what? I guess I must have passed out. Does look nice though. So I, I had a problem with it trouble. where, when I, I did really tests, it recorded the game sound and my audio on my MetaQuest 3 on the recording. I don't know. I do my recording and it doesn't go, record my voice. <laughs> I will repair your things by fighting alongside you. Surely that's an offer you can't refuse. That is an offer of I can't refuse, love. Right. You can carry on me crap Don't for me. Over me. I'm more than capable of handling myself. Okay, then. Oh, I haven't introduced myself, have I? My name is Sophia, but you probably already knew that. Yes, I am clairvoyant. I don't know Skyrim, <laughs> although sometimes I'm not sure if it's for the right reasons. I kind of see myself as an adventure. Although it's no fun without anyone to witness my heroic deeds, such as... Well, I'm sure there's probably something. I like uh, to get drunk, kill stuff, and be a nuisance. 
So, what about you? Well, we're here to adventure eyes, love. Nice to meet you. I hope to be of some use to you. I'm rare and talented if I say so myself, so I'm sure there must be something I can do for you. I'm sure Don't there is. Let me know. You can protect me. <laughs> so, we are currently recruited Sophia. So it's you're off to see the Yarl of Whitecombe then? Don't got an arrow over my soul out in a minute. me into Dragon's Reach. Apparently I wasn't important enough. But with you, I might get away with it. Yeah, because I'm important. As long as they don't remember that incident when a criminal escaped because I was... ...distracting the guards. Oh really now? Oh really? So as you can see, we do have a little bit of a black issue on the screen. Oh, well, mega lag there, not too sure why. Probably because of the amount of render distance that was being drawn in. But, I must say, it does look a hell of a lot nicer. Now, as I was saying before, I had a problem where when I tested the recording, it worked. When I actually did the recording, it didn't work with my mic. So, obviously, I'm having to put my audio on over this so I can't actually read what the conversation things are because this is in my editing suite that I'm doing this now. I'm waiting to get your sword out, love. Put it away. And uh, when I actually made the video, it did that. And then when I did the second part of the video, there was no sound at all. So, yes, I'm not too... Was there something you wanted? Yeah, we need to give you some clothes, love, don't we? Let's let's try and put some clothes on her. So, do we just put it on the inventory? Is that what we do? Like, this is the first time I've ever been on Skyrim VR, other so? than the other video I did for, like, a, like an hour. <laughs> but I had to stop playing it because it's just mega bad motion sickness. But, hopefully, we've sorted that out as well. So we'll go through this here. Let's give her some clothes so she's uh, not got nothing on. Give her a bit of defense and armor rating and that, obviously, because we will be going into dungeons and doing stuff. And uh, she's going to protect me, isn't she? So <laughs> as long as she can take the brunt of all the fighting, we'll be okay. And then I can focus on, say, destruction and restoration. Get them spells up. Maybe do a bit of conjuration as well. But we'll get to that. When we get to the dungeon, which will Did most likely so? probably be the Brook Falls Barrow first, because we need the Dragonstone. Let me get ourselves the Golden Claw. One of many. So this is the book from one of the mods. We'll just quickly have a quick look for it. Oh, look, a picture. That's the first time I've seen a picture in a book in Skyrim. No way. So there's something new in the mod pack. More pages, a little bit of what's going on with the factions and stuff, because you can choose factions, which I didn't do just yet, because we're just going to go through basic, really. I don't want to make it too complicated for you guys, especially you guys who have not got a PC and are watching this, and you have a console. Unless you can do it on console, but... <laughs> can you? Can you mod it on the console? Go down there, leave a little comment, let me know if you can mod it on the console like you can on the PC. Don't think you can, because... The amount of messing about I had to do to install this. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I had to download like two firmware things from fucking Microsoft and something else. Yes. And Let's go. open up a folder, create a folder, Wabberjack, and then force download that. I'm like, oh my God. Well, we got there in the end, boys. We got there in the end. So now that she's got some clothes on, got a bit of armor waiting for herself. She's still got a sword on her way up, but she's got no air. Her air's gone. What the, did you see that? There's no air there, I mean. So that blue bar there that you just saw is obviously my square to if i move out of that you'll see me apartment flat you'll see me part of a flat or apartment if i move out of that circle like you see on the floor sometimes because i have in through on or pass through on or whatever it's called so if i walk out of that the optic will go to my room so i don't walk into a wall <laughs> something like that but we'll just quickly go through the stuff here we've got a fair bit of stuff to start off with maybe that's because we don't start off in helgen like we do in the original well, we do, but it's just not in this because there is an issue where it's all yeah, janky and doesn't really work. So they don't do that. And we started off like here at White Run, like I stated previously. So we'll have a look, a look here. What we got? What we can we do? We got ourselves some stuff here. Can't actually make that out on the editing suite at the minute, but you all can see it on the big screen now. <laughs> There's some stuff there. So we'll go through this. Have a look what we've got. Equip ourselves some stuff I think I'm doing here. Put myself on the robes and I'll do that at What's some point. What's on your mind? We've equipped ourselves restoration in one hand and I have flame in the other. And I have the rune mod on. So as you can see there on the hand, that rune, that circle, red circle thing. I want you to ready circle. That was the rune for the fire. And I also have a thing on my wrist where I have my health, my 
There it is then, you just seen? Sometimes it works, there you go. Well, now it works. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. You'll see that going forward. But we'll make our way into Whiterun. Head over to the hall. Have a quick word with the Yarl. And then we'll have a quick word with the wizard. We will tell them those on our merry, merry way to go and get ourselves the Dragonstone. City's closed with the dragons about. This is where the burial sites only. of the dragons are. For all of you who have never played Skyrim. Which I doubt is not many. <laughs> I doubt it's loads like. I bet it's not very many that I've not played Skyrim. The person left the best Elder Scrolls in my eyes. Now, with the black side bit like you see on the screen there, it goes black there then. That does not actually do that in the game whilst I'm playing the game. So because of the bitrate between the headset Wi-Fi to my motherboard Wi-Fi, which is only a 2.4 gigahertz motherboard. So, yes, that's the problem that I have there with that little black issue. So I, I am not aware of that in the game. And going forward, that will be repaired. I am going on holiday. So till I come back off my holiday, I will not be upgrading my PC for obvious reasons. So till we come back off my holiday, we're just going to have to make do with that, I'm afraid. But it is the start of the adventure. I don't expect to get that many views on it. With it being just the start of the adventure and with the game being so long. But it's because it's VR and it's massively improved, as you can tell by moving my head everywhere. Here we are in the very attractive looking white one now. Grab that. Have a little listen in here a minute. Have a talk to her. Get ourselves the quests for the... Uh, make some leather, make some hide, make an arm, make some hide gloves, is it? Is it hide gloves that they give you tells you to do or hide armbands or something that she tells you to make I can't remember now it's been that long since I played Skyrim last yeah look at the rain love put your sword away come on we're in a town here love so we'll go talk to her get these questings oh what I've got my ring on so we don't do the quest with her then now if she tells you to like make some hide, the then use the grindstone, the use the bl blast furnace thing. Like she tells you, well, it's not a blast furnace, but she tells you to use the furnace. So we don't do that now with this mod, right? Okay, okay. Just like we don't do river wooden Helgen, we don't do this. So let's. We don't need to go into the shop, but look how nice it looks here now. It's well different. It's well changed. This is the first time I've ever seen Skyrim Imagine like this. Oh, where does the shop here? I wonder what this cheese shop sells. <laughs> what, love? What was she saying? Did anyone hear that? I didn't. <laughs> like I said, love. I ain't 24 no more. You ain't got the hold on me no more. So, a cheese, this weren't here in the original game, a cheese shop. I wonder what this cheese shop sells. Who, who, who says cheese? We're going to go for cheese there, boys? Let's go cheese. I'm going to say cheese. I reckon this cheese shop sells cheese. Yeah, I know how to work a shot, mate. It's not the first time I played Skyrim. It might be the first time I played it with these stupid paddle things, mate, but we're getting there, we're getting there. But it's all a learning curve. Bit of drink of tea there. So, I'm British after all. Another shop here as well. A mead one by the looks of it. Need something? Have you got black dry mead in here? That's a question. I might have to look at that when I go back in it. So, no. Oh, look, there's a brow room. No painting on it though. Another woman here, what does she sell meat? Did you sell meat? What did you sell? I'm gonna say meat to go to that bra him there. Yeah, meat, yeah. So we've got another shop. So these are all new shops. These weren't here in the original. Like I said, I played it five times. Oh look, there's a bra in writing on, but it ain't blue. If you know what I'm on about by that, go down there in the comments, leave a little comment. About the blue bra him. And now they get well the bra him with the blue writing on him for the giants. If you know what I'm on about there, go down there, leave a little comment. And the shops here, so it does look a hell of a lot better. And uh, to be honest, with it being on the VR headset and maybe actually being in the game myself, it's so much more immersive. It's it's really good. It's really good. Like this is the main reason why I bought my Meta Quest Three for VR Skyrim modded, and I am not disappointed. I can tell you that. So the original video I did was I spent over seven hundred pound on this video, which is where I bought the Meta Quest Three, bought Skyrim VR, and all that lot. Well, we'll grab this tundra cotton, tundra cotton. That's what it's still called. We'll grab that yes. tundra cotton. Did you want something? No, love, don't want it off you. We'll grab this and let's, let's go over to the uh, House of the Dead thing, the morgue place, and we'll go and do the necklace, the amulet of RK, is it? The amulet of RK off the priest guy. 
get ourselves a little bit of gold and uh, just a let's have a little bit of uh, see how the battle is going to play out for us when we do battles with Sophia since she's a new follower. Now, to be honest, this is the first time I've ever had a follower in the game. So, it was a double experience here. A follower and it's the Sophia funny version. And we're starting our adventure with her. So, let's, be, let's get on our way. Where is the guy? Where's the guy? Where's the priest? I'm trying to find the priest. Where is he? There he is. So, quick talk to this dude. Get a request off him to go and get the amulet. <coughs> Excuse me. I know death very well. See, I can't see that, but I know what that I know what that says there. It says something along the lines of "I am I know death very well," something like that. <laughs> I know it says that because of how many times I've done the game. But source of my divine powers and also a sacred badge of office. I misplaced it in the catacombs. I'd look for it, but I have been hearing noises down there. You've not been doing a good job, then, have you, mate? If your job without that amulet I'm powerless to confront them. Would you be willing to search for it? Of course, mate, I need to level up my skills. I'll just wait here and make sure nothing foul escapes the catacombs. Well you're supposed to have done that in the catacombs, mate, and now you're in your little uh should we call it a little housey bit before the catacombs? Where he lives. So let's go in here then. Sort these droger out. So for you, go get him. Go get him. Doop doop do, do. Wizard hands. Let's go. <laughs> There's the fire. There we go. Here we go. Get him, Sophia. Get him. A short work of him. Another one. It's him. It's him. There's another one down. Like I say, the more stuff that we use with the flamey flamey, we can get these skelly boys done. So, my magic is low a bit there. What I'm going to do is run one down here. I'm going to get this. Get a burny burny. She's powerful over it, yeah, Jesus Christ, I didn't think she had that hard. So, heal up a little bit. Level it up a little bit. It's so dark, isn't it? So, <laughs> might have to put the quest marker on here to find out where to go because I can't believe how dark it is. So, instead of brightness up, that's what I'm thinking, so instead of brightness. Was there something you wanted? No. Where is it? Where is it? I can't see it. can't see it anywhere, boys. I think what we're going to have to do is we might have to either do the brightness or just put the quest marker up. Tell me where it is. That's the way that came in. So it's not that way. So head back out this way. We'll go back around here. Where the bloody hell is it? Is that a wall? I thought there was a door there. Grab that Beren's Eye Stone. We need that. Well, we don't need it, but <laughs> it helps towards the quest line. We'll get all them. Don't worry about that. We'll grab all them bad boys. So, let's uh, put the quest marker on because it is a little bit dark, isn't it? It is just a little bit. Where we go, is it? So, where is it? Where is it? There it is. Slow down at the marker. Do a bit of flame, maybe. Let me guess. You There's a door. Yeah, like I said. So there is a door, it's just so dark, it is really dark, so grab that, grab it, grab it, there we go, let me go back to the dude and give him this, you all know how it goes, you all know how it goes, so we'll go back over to the priest of RK, give him back his medallion and get ourselves a nice little bit of gold. Put our weapons away. Otherwise, Sophie will be running around everywhere with a sword out. So, but being an idiot. Oh, thank okay. Please take this gold for your troubles. Oh, why? Thank you. So I'm pretty much done here now. What we're going to do is we're going to leave him. And I think now we shall make our way over to the palace, temple, whatever you want to call it. It's not a temple, the palace, the castle, the keep. Whatever you want to call it, it's not, like, it's not a castle either. It's more like a bailer. So we'll make our way up over to it. Speak to the Jarl. Tell him about Helgen being destroyed. Pretty certain it's Helgen. Tell him about Helgen being destroyed by a dragon. 
and then we'll get on our merry way with our quest to Bleak Falls Barrow, where we have to go and rescue that guy and get ourselves a Dragonstone off him, which shows us the burial sites of the dragons, so we can get ourselves them lovely words for our shouty shouties. Wow, look at here, boys. Look how much nice and here it looks now. That's well better in here. Like, well better. Look at the light. Did you see the light? Impressed. Looks really good, must say. Must say, it does look really good in here. Do you like how they've done with the textures and stuff in here? Looks hell of a lot better. Well. I trust you have something vital. Oh, a bit of lag there, lad. In the middle of council? Yeah, mate. By Ismir, Irileth was right. By Ismir. What do you say now, Professor? Shall we continue to trust in the strength of our walls against the dragon? My lord, we should send troops to Riverwood at once. It's in the most immediate danger. If that dragon is lurking in the mountain. The Jarl of Falkry will view that as a provocation. He'll assume we're preparing to join Ulfric's side and attack him. We should Enough. not. No, I... I'll not stand idle nah, while a dragon burns my hold and slaughters oh, my deal. A little bit of coming out of my room there. Let's get a drink. Send a detachment to Riverwood at once. Yes, my young. If you'll excuse me, I'll return to my duties. That would be best. Well done. You sought me out on your own initiative. Wow. <laughs> Is that the first time I played this? I didn't even know I'd come here and I started talking to him and then all this happened. I was like, oh, right, okay. <laughs> the very first time I played it. Suitable for someone of your particular talents, perhaps. No, it's a shadow in the background there on the wall. That's all right. He's been looking into a matter related to these dragons and rumors of dragons. Well, they're not rumours, are they? They're not now, anyway. No, now we've seen it with our own eyes. Well, we don't, but we do in the game. There's the wizard. We'll stand there, wait for him. Don't want to speak before the yarn now, do we? We don't want to steal his thunder. Any time now. Faringar, <laughs> I think I've found someone who can help you with your dragon project go ahead and fill him in with all the details so the Earl there we go. He can be of use to me oh yes he must be referring to my research into the dragons yes i could use someone to fetch something for me how well, convenient when i say fetch i really mean delve into a dangerous ruin in search of an ancient stone tablet that may or may not actually be there sounds like i'm your man Straight to the point, eh? No need Dead right. Tedious, house and wise. Not I doing like it by half me, mate. Leave those details to your betters, am I right? We could have played this just normally, yeah, but we're playing it on PR. <laughs> a stone tablet said to be housed in Bleak Falls Barrow. A dragon stone said to contain a map of dragon burial sites. Go to Bleak Falls Barrow, <clears> on this tablet, no <clears> doubt it's heard in the main chamber, and bring it to me. Simplicity itself. Right. So, I'm just going to go to the bottom here, and I'm just going to... Like, quickly go through these dialogue options. I'm not going to listen to it, like, because I think these might be quest related. I'm not too sure. I can't remember. So, I'm just going to quickly skip through these bottom dialogue options just so they're done. They've all listened to them before. So, I'm only going to be listening to important dialogue that is quest related for the playthrough. Otherwise, we'll be here for like 300 hours. And we don't want to be doing that now, boys, do we? It'll probably still take about 200 hours to do everything we need to, but we'll do it. We'll do it. Something new. So I bought the VR headset for anyway. Because all the other games on it are pretty shit. Well, the ones I played anyway. As well as Raph's not too bad, but overall, best one, Skyrim VR. So, you will need to have Steam, so you can use Steam VR to use this. And uh, you probably will most likely need a PC or a laptop. I probably won't use it on a laptop, because let's face it, laptop, you can't get a gaming laptop. They may say they're gaming laptops, but there is no such thing as a gaming laptop, really. <laughs> Yeah, you gave me a laptop which is not as thick as my graphics card, okay. But anyway, going on, what we need to do is, me taking a little bit down the boot and a tangent there, but we're going to go make our way over to Bleak Falls Barrow, which is up over there, what the deal? Well, look. 
Although I'm a little worried about the Draugr. I doubt my feminine beauty is going to cut it with those guys. Feminine beauty. Do they even have any? Love, what are you doing with your sword? You Put your swords away. <laughs> between a man and a woman. The difference between a man and a woman. Oh, don't get me started. Don't not get me started. I'll get cancelled. And we don't want that now, do we, love? No. <laughs> People don't like hearing the truth. So I'm afraid that can't happen. We're going to have to just pass that by. So here we are on our way over to, I believe, Falls Barrow, which is up on the hill over there. And we can probably go and get ourselves River of Wood as well by me there. So let's make our way out of town. A little bit of lag there. The reason for that is because, as you all know, I hotspot my internet off my phone and uh, I can't get 5G in my area with my provider. Literally 10 yards up the road I can. Is she having on again? Oh, dragon I hear. So we listen to her and then it's to go and kill the dragon, innit? Fight the dragon at the, on the path. Is it up lightning on the window then? Is that my uh, GeForce RTX doing its job there? TI Ultra, nicely, nicely doing its job. So here we are outside. Where's this dude going? Is he going to go to the dragon? Let's follow him. Because we'll fight this dragon now as well. You know, at the very beginning outside on the path. You all know what I'm all about. What she was talking about inside there, that dark elf. Can't remember the name they used themselves, but the dark elves. But yeah, that bit of a thing over there. So, where's that dude? He's run over there, aren't he? So let's go up over here, watch where he, see where he goes. If he goes over, come on, get up there. If he goes over to the right on the path, come on, come on, up here. Get up, get up, get up, jump. Jesus. There we go. So let's just watch this guard a minute. See where he goes. Oh, he disappeared. No way. So let's head over to where he went. He might have just like gone out of render distance. So let's just have a wonder over there, see if he's there. As you can see, all new stuff, new little waypost there, with the gate out of the flame. So yeah, he just disappeared. So like, come on, stamina. So I'll just keep running. I think that was stamina. Like I say I can't see it. So. We need to make our way over to Bleak Falls Barrow to get ourselves a Dragonstone, as I've said for the third time now. So we'll make that our quest thing so we can just look down at the thing and see where we've got to go. But it is up over there on that mountain. I know it is. So we'll head over that way. And we'll make our way over to this little bit of a ruin building as well because you never know, they might even be fighting that dragon. We'll just like run over this way and see what's going on over there. Have a quick of a look over there. Still raining here. Typical weather. Reminds me of being at home where I am right now. <laughs> so yeah, it's actually that weather here right now. It's not raining, but it is overcast. So typical British weather here. Just like being at home. So we'll wander through the marsh, make our way up over here. There is a mammoth camp over here somewhere, so we don't want to get too near that with being level one. <laughs> like, we don't want to get nowhere near that. One hit off a giant, we're dead. So make our way over, try and avoid the mammoth camp. Oh, wolf somewhere. So Sophia will take care of it. She was talking the talk before, so let's see if she can walk the walk. There's the path, that's what I was looking for. Follow the path up the mammy. Where's the dog? Where is it, Sophia? Louder than words, so I'll let my weapons do the talking. Oh, you killed it, sweet. Nice. Nicely done there, love. Nicely done. Crazy like a pet. <laughs> no sort of attention, won't like it the other way. So, we'll make our way up. Oh, look how steep it is, boys. Like, Jesus. Bernie, Bernie, we're a free wolfie. We're just doing that because we need, the more you use your skills, 
learn more and quicker they go up. That's how you level up by increasing your skills. So as soon as I learned that out in the game, you know what I was doing. So yeah, we need to grab as much stuff like wolf pearl and minerals and stuff so we can get the smithing up in that as well. So we will get onto that in, the, in like, I won't be doing that stuff on this as obviously it leaves the live stream. But look at the light there, see the light there? That's quite nice, isn't it, the light? Growing up, bit of snow. It does look a lot nicer though than the original now that I modded it, which is what I've done whilst I've been bedridden. So, whilst I've been bedridden, as you can see, look at how nice it looks now compared to what it used to be. Doopy doopy doo, wizard hands. <laughs> so, yeah, hell of a lot of improvement there. And it's also reduced the, sick the motion sickness as well, because it's gone from like 20 minutes of play to about 40, 45 minutes of play. And it's just me getting used to the headset, because obviously, with me being bedridden, I've not been able to use it. Because I can't bleed and stand up. <laughs> so, <laughs> hence. I did put be seated on, but sometimes it worked, sometimes it didn't. Same with the sound problem I had with the issue. So, from now on going forward, I'm just going to record the sound on my PC separately and just stick it on this video once it's done. But sometimes this catches my video audio, but if it catches my audio or the microphone, it won't capture the sound of the game. But if it captures the sound of the game, it's on, it doesn't record the audio for my voice. So, yeah, anyone has any ideas what's going on there? Maybe it's a mod I've got on or something. I'm in a little bit of trouble with that with the headset at the minute. So the videos are taking like three times as long to make at the minute as well. So they are taking a little bit of time to get used to doing all the editing software for the VR. But I am sorting it all out. It's getting there. It's just my little bit of issues with some stuff. So might be because of the 2.4 gig upload on the Wi-Fi thing. So because of like all electronics usually have that based on there. So that might be that issue. But I'm going to try and go up here without alerting everyone. I would sneak here, but obviously I can't like sneak down because I can't bend over or bend down. Bernie, 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 get him, Sophia. Yeah, that's right. Walk right into my flame. So where did that arrow come from? Where did that come from? Where is she? There she is. Get her. Cookie, cookie, cookie. <laughs> yeah, you tell Sophia. Do you Sophia. are angry because we disturbed their sleep? I know how they feel. I would also be pretty angry. Oh no, I feel love. I'm a hyperinsomniac and I have like three hours of sleep a night and on medication to knock me out. So when I get woken up, yeah, you can imagine that I'm not a happy bunny. So yeah, I understand love. <laughs> little, little, little lag there a little bit, just a tiny little bit. But I understand what you're talking about there, love. Pill for the bodies and rob him. So <laughs> see what we can get good wise off him. Get ourselves hopefully some nice things. I actually am after a iron axe, which you get from this dungeon as well. So I can put that in one of my hands and have the other hand as my destruction or maybe illusion. The problem with that is I'm going to change it. So I get used to the hot swap thing. Going into Bleak Falls Power. That was a different door though, wasn't it? It didn't have a turn thing on it. So here we are in our first dungeon in the playthrough of the VR. Let's see how this goes. Also, here's a good spot to get your sneak up. If you are wanting to work on your sneak skill, because you can just sneak around this rock here and you're near them enemies and they can't see you. So, a really good spot to get your sneak skill up here, other than the bear right at the very beginning in the cave. So, Bernie, Bernie, Bernie. Try and get these without them getting me. Leveled up a little bit there, was that? I think it is. Looty loot, eh? So, let's. Just make sure that I've robbed them. The one over here, yep, yeah, Archer. Archer there, I'm too far away, too far away. Get a bit closer. Look so tough to me. Mega dark. Like, mega, mega dark. So, get the chest, as you all know from the Diablo playthrough. <laughs> we do like chests here on the channel. We don't need to worry about this, I'm a professional when it comes to lot picking. Just give me a second, let me find the right point. Is it here? I think it is. We've got it. We've got it. So there's that one done. This wasn't even a hard one, really. Let's be honest. Let's be fair. It's not too difficult this stage of the game. Down these massively steep steps through the cobwebs. This is going to be interesting because we come to a big spider in a bit. And uh, I'm an arachnophobe. <laughs> I'm not scared of much in life. Like, but spiders is one of them. So. I want a quick search of these urns, see what these have got. Sometimes you get garnets and like stuff like that from it. We may even find ourselves some 
diamonds and all that though. Not this early in the game. So, noting that one, people going through the Mega Dark Dungeon. Also, another reason why I've got flame on is so that I can just set a bit of fire, light the path up a bit. So, keep heading down. <coughs> Excuse me. Grab that potion. So, look, check that urn it there. Grab that little potion there. There we go. Nothing else. That love. This way. Really immersive here. Dark as hell, can't see now. <laughs> so, we're coming down here to this dude. We all know what happens here. Pretty certain the code is Snake Snake Whale, is it? Is it Snake 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 Whale the code? I think I'm pretty certain it is, if I remember correctly. Yes, it is. It's Snake Snake Whale. So, we'll quick change these there, as you all do. I'm all ears. Oh, what are you doing? Well, not literally, of course. Snake, snake, whale. Bish, bash, bosh. Do the lever. I'll leave off some of my friends. I say lever. <laughs> I said lever because of some of my American friends and the majority of you guys who watch the channel American so uh, welcome to coming to listen and watch little at any point you do like the video please go down there smash that like button it really does help me out here loads on the channel and again thanks for coming along spending some of your precious time with little old me now with that little plug being done we'll continue on let's read the book and as you can see there it says pickpocket well you can't but it does and then my pickpocketing went up by one. So that's a new little thing on the mod. It actually tells you what the book is going to give you a skill if it's to give you a skill. So that's good. Like, it saves you looking for every book. So that's really good. Kill these skeevers. He's having trouble with that skeever. Like, really? He was slaying zombies. Uh, slaying the undead. And wolves like there were nothing, and then like that little thing. So we'll grab ourselves a scroll. And the little paralysis potion is that. Give it a little minute for it to buffer a little bit. So we'll make our way back down. Well, not back down, down still. And then we now come into the massive spider. Oh, this is going to be a bit interesting. Can we get over to that chest over there? Come on, get up there. Come on, that's it. Burn away a bit of this web. Get to the chest. And that was not much. <laughs> Still, it was all in the fun of it. We'll get rid of this and then we'll see what this spider looks like in VR. This should be entertaining. You ready, love? You ready for do this? Let's go do it then, eh? Yeah? Let's go then. Oh, Jesus. Bird! Bird, <laughs> bird. Oh, that mana. Shit, hide, hide. <laughs> oh no, we haven't got mana. Let's go back in there. Come on, we gotta get it. Get it, get it, get it, <laughs> get it. <laughs> Sophia, you gotta kill that. What are you doing? Kill the spider, Sophia. Did you not hear me say I'm an arachnophobic? And, oh my god. So let's. Uh, oh, the map's impressive. This is the world map. Wow. It's the first time I've been on here. Look at the map. That was alright, I enjoyed that little map. So, let's uh, put ourselves on a axe here. Because, uh, one of my things is not really doing much, is it? Kill it! Job well done, Sophia. Job well done. You saved the day. You, over here. You. You did it, you killed it. Now cut me down before anything else shows up. Really? Yes, the claw. I know how it works. The claw, the markings. I know how it works as well, mate. Like I said, this is not my first time I've done this. This will be the fifth time that we've done Skyrim. You won't believe the power the Nords have hidden there. Don't 
Does it look like I can move? You had to cut me down first. Quick drink of tea here while well. wait for this guy to come down and run off. I can feel it. Now we'll chase him. Get those stolen off him. They ain't gonna get far, mate. Not with Bernie Burner. I can believe Nick. They always fight dirty. <laughs> Did she say women always fight dirty? <laughs> no way. <laughs> oh, hello. What was that? Not much. Oh, I didn't yeah. even see him. Didn't even see him. Get him. That's it, Sophie. Oh, you're doing a good job there. Keep up the good work, love. So we'll kill this guy as well, eh? Get him! <laughs> Chasing this guy down now. Get him! Job well done again, Sophie. There. Oh, look. I didn't know I left this stuff here. I thought, oh yeah. <laughs> I thought I went through there. Another one. Oh, no man no. Get him. Get him. What are you doing? Get him. Get him. Cook him up a bit. So the health bar didn't go down on him then, did it? Kind of <coughs> janked out a little bit there, so not too sure what happened with his health bar. We'll make our way back through. <coughs> Excuse me, Jesus. That's something caught me throat. So I'll just loot these bodies. Get all the good stuff off them. Put that on there. Trap on the floor somewhere. Well, there near that big gate thing, so I've got to be careful of that. I hope she do not run over it. That thing there. Got to go past it. Come on. Come on, don't you stand on it. Yeah, well done, love. Well done. <laughs> so, onwards still. Dark as hell, as always. That good ambiance though, we'll have to take the brightness up somehow. We'll have to figure out. Kill that guy, I'll get as much done as we can before he gets up. Number one, get him done there as well. Quick, Bernie, Bernie, Bernie. Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. And another one, quick, get him! <laughs> get him! There's two, get them both well for you. It's all about magic. <laughs> now you're going to get there. Now you're going to get there. Sophia, what are you doing? What are you doing? Oh my god. Right, we're going to have to put an axe on here now. <laughs> like, really? So let's put the axe on my right hand. Whack off, whack off, whack off. I'm a bit whack. I have to be careful here. Like, I wasn't planning on putting a weapon on, and I don't want to smash my monitor. So <laughs> we'll do a little bit of a. A little bit of a mad little swing of a Rinald till I sort this out. Obviously, like, in the next stream, I'll make it so I can actually swing proper. You tell him, Sophie, or you tell him whatever you said. So I'll loot the body. And anyone else? Anyone else? No, no one else. We killed everyone, did we? We killed everyone. Check this guy. Grab a bit of that. So before we go, any for I think what we should do is we should stick ourselves down a save here just in case I'm not put a save down and we are like almost 40 minutes 45 minutes sorry, into the game so we will stick down our first save did that is that saving is it not saving what's going on did it save then or what don't think it did did it oh well, there we go my bad I thought it actually saved then so uh yeah, what I think we'll do is we shall stop this a little bit here because I'm getting a little bit of motion sickness at this time in the video and I'm like, well, we'll stop it here. I'll rest for like half an hour and then come back on and make the next bit of the video. But as you will see in the next part, something else happens. So I shall be back in one second. And now I'm back and as you can tell, there is no sound in the game. So <laughs> I had a little rest after the motion sickness problem i have with it in a minute and there was no sound when i made a recording so what i'm going to do is we're going to end the video here and then in the next video we'll start off from this point again and i'll do that whole bit again like so 
if you did come along and watch the video, I really do appreciate you coming along, spending a little bit of time, a little old me. And uh, welcome for coming along and uh, starting in the journey of my voyage through VR Skyrim. And uh, I must admit, it's uh, really, really good. Like, the only problem I have with it is the little bit of the motion sickness, which I've never had before in my life. So, for someone who's never had motion sickness before in their life, and they get it, if you do suffer with motion sickness, do think about that before you do buy a VR headset. So <laughs> that is something that I've had. But I've only had it in this game, but that's probably because of all the amount of movement that we do. But if you did like the video, please, please go down there. Smash that like button. Really does help me out here at the channel. And if you did a little comment, I'll uh, get back to it. I'll answer it as soon as I can or as soon as YouTube tells me that I've got it. And as always, I shall see you all on the battlefield. And eyes up, Guardian. This is Viper. Signing out.